Yeah. So hi everyone. Today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Vedant with us. So Vedant, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, hi Ashish. Uh, thanks for inviting me first. Uh, so my name is Vedant Sharma. I am a third year engineering student at ADG IPS Delhi. Also, I am an upcoming SWE intern at Google. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, crack Google off campus while being in college. So we'll be getting to know about his journey of how he cracked Google, his interview experience, and everything in between. So Vedant, start us off with your interview experience. What all happened? How did you apply? So basically, I applied around May or June. Uh, it was an mm -hmm. off-campus opportunity. So I just took a referral from an uh, Google employee from a LinkedIn only. Okay. So I applied directly through the career portal. Then uh, also after mm -hmm. two months, like I got a mail from the recruiter uh, asking to schedule a telephonic round with me. So the telephonic round was around fifteen to twenty minutes. After, mm -hmm. uh, like in the telephonic round, the recruiter asked me about my DSA language, also some of my projects which I have included in the resume, mm -hmm. also some of my background. So it was a fifteen to twenty minute discussion. After which I got a mail that my first interview scheduled after three to mm -hmm. four days. Also, uh, before my first interview, there was a Google Meet where all the candidates were there. And uh, the host shared some insightful knowledge regarding what how the interview will go, and uh, what mm -hmm. sort of questions will be asked, and how we have to give the answers. So it was quite mm -hmm. helpful. After that, there was my first interview scheduled, which was around forty-five minutes. So the interviewer first gave it. First, I gave my introduction to the interviewer. After which, the interviewer showed me uh, the first question, which has three follow-ups for it, and each follow-up was uh, a little bit difficult than the previous one. So the topic which was asked was deep on trees. So mm -hmm. uh, I solved I solved the all the questions by first telling the most brute force approach and then yeah. slowly uh, optimizing it and telling the time and space complexities. Mm -hmm. uh, similarly, like after my first interview, I got uh, I got a mail after three to four days that uh, my second interview is also scheduled. However, there mm -hmm. was some technical glitch. Due to which my second interview was scheduled twice. Uh, so the second interview was again scheduled one week after. So I got pretty mm -hmm. much time uh, in that one week also to just practice yeah. much more. Yeah. So after my so in my second interview, uh, I was asked one DP problem, uh, which was a medium level D, uh, like a medium level problem only, uh, which also had its three follow ups, and each follow up was again uh, harder than the previous one. So the last mm. two follow-ups, I'll say, they were of like hard-level lead code problems. So that was that was pretty much tough. But uh, still, I somehow uh, like uh, told the most optimal solution and coded up quickly. So my interview was wrapped up uh, within forty-five or fifty minutes only. So these were like my two interviews. After my second interview, like after two months, I got a mail that uh, I'm shortlisted for the Google SWE intern. So, mm -hmm. like that was pretty much the experience. The whole duration of my like journey was around four or five months. I I'll say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So pretty much they asked questions on DP and trees, topics like DP trees, and it was also hard level questions were asked. Right. So one should be very good at DSA, you know, to be able to solve questions like that while in interview. So how was your preparation strategy like? You know, how did you prepare for DSA? Uh, see, uh, like I started my DSA journey from the third semester itself only. So hmm. uh, it took me around one or one and a half year. So I have uh, I had just pretty much good practice on the lead code also, which helped me a lot in my interviews. So I firstly I, I was doing DSA in Java. So there's a Kunal Kushwal DSA plus Java hmm. playlist. Yes. Uh, so yeah. So basically, I started uh, watching and solving the questions for the first initial uh, 20 or 25 videos, by which I got mm -hmm. this uh, good idea about how to think and how to approach a specific DSA question. Also, I got uh, knowledge about Java also, and after that, I just shifted my. Uh, after that, I just shifted to a uh, Striver C2Z DSA sheet. Uh, so this sheet itself contains, I guess, 400 or 450 plus mm -hmm. problems. So. Yes. That sheet itself took me around four or five months to be completed. Uh, so I just solved them, I'll solve the sheet. After which uh, there was my time before the interview. So I just revised that sheet also for like four to five times, mostly the DPTs and graph section, uh, which helped me a lot because the question, the questions which were asked in the interview were usually uh, those fun uh, the fundamentals were related to the question. Those were in the Striver C to the DSA sheet only. Mm -hmm. 
so and i revised that sheet like four to five times before my interview so it helped me a lot in solving the questions so i'll just recommend it highly also before my interviews uh, there is a site called interview bit which has mm-hmm. this feature to filter out the questions company wise so i just solved like 80 or 90 plus problems uh, of google specific questions only which helped me a lot also like before the interviews uh, uh, when i was solving the interview bit questions uh, so i tried solving the questions within a certain time limit because the interview was also time bounded uh, like i had to solve mm-hmm. the questions within 45 minutes so i tried practicing the questions so that i can solve them within 15 to 20 minutes only no matter the question is of medium or hard level so it helped me a lot because uh, uh, i was practicing uh, within certain time boundation only also i will say that uh, initially uh, we can uh, when, when when i was practicing dsa we can mm-hmm. just uh, start the DSA, start solving the problem by looking at the topics which are related to those particular question yeah so uh, but after that once you have this p- good level of dsa skills you can just uh, remove you can't just uh, you just can, you can just remove the topics and you can just see the uh, uh, just directly solve the questions you you must have to reco- recognize the topics uh, by yourself mm. only because in the interviews usually the topics are not, are not given to you you have to find mm. out yourself you have to find out the approach or algorithm at your own only and you have to solve mm. them within 45 minutes so you have to uh, like practice uh, by not seeing the topics also and you have to practice within a certain time boundation also so it's highly recommended hmm basically simulation simulating the interview right like uh, you have to do blind solving after setting a timer you can do blind solving where you don't know the topic you don't know the algorithm you just have to solve it blindly in the time right more or less simulating an actual interview right yeah just don't see the topics do, or set the specific time like 15 or 20 minutes uh, like if you're targeting big product based companies uh, the questions are typically much difficult so you have to solve mm. i guess if you can solve lead code medium to high level problems within 20 or 25 minutes at max also mm. then i guess you are pretty much uh, you have prepared a pretty much spell well. mm. so also okay. if you are targeting some mid range companies then you can just increase the time limit according to that also because they have a uh, uh, like easier question compared to google mm. microsoft or amazon so it depends uh, on the company you are targeting so you know for on a final note to all of the people who are watching this video who also want to crack a company like google what advice would you like to give them i'll say like if you're targeting a big product based company like google or microsoft just focus on dsa because that's the only thing they ask at least mm-hmm. google asks dsa only because both my interviews were of dsa uh, based only i was not even asked about my resume my project or any development skill mm-hmm. yeah but uh, sometimes you uh, in interview can ask about your development skills also or about your project so mm. just have a look around that also but majorly like 90 to 95% of your interview will be solely focused on dsa so just focus on dsa the resources i have told you earlier only it's mm. tyvas a to z dsa sheet interview bit site uh, targeting the company specific questions kunal kushwas a to z dsa playlist also there's aditya varma's uh, dp mm. playlist also yes. it's also highly recommended uh, i i just go got to all the all his videos also so you can just have a look on that also also there are certain uh, channels like need code etc so you can just have a look if you are uh, if you want to look for some specific question a specific need code question so you can just have a look also they have this pretty much good uh, problem solving approach so you can just have a look on that also i guess that's much uh, Uh, also just uh, practice initially for the f- uh, very first one or two months you'll have uh, like you will have problem to solve the questions but, but after mm. like uh, one or two months of your dsa journey your brain will start thinking in that sense only like how to approach the problem or how, how to get that intuition so don't uh, stop in between just practice more and more like after three or four months uh, you will see the result itself only that uh, whenever you, even you will see a medium or hard level problem at least you will have that intuition that how we can, how i can solve it hmm, so right. that's that's more important just don't stop in between if you can't find a solution but just practice more and more that's the only key key thing you have to be in your mind hmm. perseverance is basically key right you know you have to keep at it you have to be 
basically you know frequent with it you have to persevere through the problem solving and uh, all of the resources that he has mentioned we'll put in the description link so you guys can check the resources out from there and if anyone wants any specialized help or if anyone wants advice regarding to their situation in starting a company then vedant has also launched his top mate recently i'll give a link to his top mate in the description it will also appear on the screen so you can book a one to one consultation with him on top mate i'll also give his linkedin so you can connect with him from there and follow him from there so thanks a lot vedant for coming on my channel i hope this will help a lot of students thank you uh thanks thanks ashish and uh, all the best to everyone who is looking to this video i hope you crack your interviews all the best everyone